We're here in uh, Florence with a group of master students from a very special program called the Executive Master of Arts, which is a course developed to bring uh, the study of culture, the humanities if you like, and the study of business, including social business, together. Leaders, business and culture in Florence is a subject that allows to tell the story of culture, but also see it in action. And what better classroom could you have than the city of Florence? Culture is a significant part of the reason that Florentine business flourishes, not only in the past, but right now. We're starting off with a lecture by Professor Clive Willard, who's an expert in the Italian entrepreneurial character, helping us to understand the context within which Italian business is operating. We're hearing from Mr. Gianfranco Lotti, a world-renowned name in leather goods. He's going to tell us how he has transformed that passion and skill into a worldwide business. Uh, amazing uh, insight into uh, practical behind the scenes parts of the business, but also, if you like, the value uh, ideal. That, uh, that drives him. We'll be able to see these beautiful products, but also to see how they've evolved over time. Il Papiro is another important part of the story of Florentine art. Makers of beautiful papers, famed makers of papers. The students are going to have a go at making some of that marbled paper, but also understand their business model and how they've developed this company based on artisanal skills uh, into, again, a global industry. They actually allowed us to look into their minds and into their hearts and where we were actually able to see this huge commitment, this unwavering commitment to choose to be excellent in what they do every day very inspiring. Successful entrepreneurs and businesses, renowned uh, worldwide for their quality, have been able to maintain uh, a low uh, amount of production in their fields in order to sustain that high quality and that um, exceptional reputation. And in a world of exploitation of markets, I found that very inspiring. We're here at La Marzocco, a coffee machine making business, and this is a company which started in 1927. We've just been hearing Sylvia talk about the production of coffee machines through the 1930s up to the present day, and we're just going to go down and have a look at the production space. We're going to the marketing branch of Luisa Villaroma, a fashion house which first developed in Paris in the 1920s, got moved to Florence, and now it has a massive online presence. Again, business flourishes on the back of culture here in this very special city. Being where art grew or being where all of these things happened and actually experience it for yourself, um, seeing it, feeling it, breathing it, you know, makes everything much more tangible. That is important to talk about the world, but it's more important to talk with the world. I think you need to be here and engage with the cities itself to, to literally learn about the place. Using Florence as a way of reflecting back on Melbourne and the other societies that our students come from to see what are their cultural assets, what are their values, that have the possibility of coming to the marketplace or creating a social development agenda. So that's, uh, that's the Florence story uh, for us.